What's up, YouTube? You checking out the Frequent Flyer, and this is my review of the Baying Toys X9, the new version. Now, this is the quad here. It looks like the uh, just like the X9. Uh, the design on the top of the canopy might be a little different, and you might, of course, you notice that this thing is green. Uh, the first X9 didn't come in green. It only came in uh, two colors, as far as I knew. It was the well, it, yeah, it was the black and white, and then it came in red and black. And so this one comes in green. And it's basically the same quadcopter, but they did add a new protocol and some other features on it. Now, this quadcopter, I didn't know that it was a new version. Uh, I just ordered it thinking I was ordering the regular uh, X9, and when I received it, I noticed that... The uh, packaging was different uh, because the original X9 has the same black box that the X7 came in. Being so, it, it's made by, they're both made by Baying Toys. Uh, so, this one, it's made by Baying Toys, but it came in this little smaller box and it's more colorful. And so, I, I just thought that they were just revising the uh, look of the box. But, and in the uh, instructions manual, it didn't say anything uh, about... A headless mode or one key return I discovered that actually by uh, just trying to uh, th trim the throttle because uh, when this on low battery this uh, quadcopter tends to uh, gets it gets really touchy on throttle and so I was trying to um, compensate by adjusting the throttle trim and I just assumed that this here was the throttle trim Turns out that this button here is the headless mode, and this button here is the one key return. So they snuck some features in there without uh, notice. They didn't inform anybody uh, in on a box or not even in the instructions manual. So I just stumbled upon that. <clears throat> uh, on the box, this quadcopter says that... Uh, Let's actually let's look at the box and see exactly what it says. Let's see if you can get that. Okay, so it says the first one which can fly outdoor in the wind weather. Outdoor wind grade four. So they're really the original um well the X7 boasted something about uh being able to fly in uh very well in the wind as well, being the first to be able to fly well in wind. And this one continues with that, but I found that this quadcopter isn't as good a flyer in wind as the CG023 because the pitch isn't as deep. Uh, well, let's get about let's talk about the good qualities of this quadcopter. The good qualities, uh, it flies really quiet, uh, just like the other uh, Nano QX clones. Uh, it has a nice yaw rate when you go into uh, high rates. <clears throat> And also, um, this quadcopter, it you can fly nice circuits with it, and it flips really well. Uh, this quadcopter flips really fast. It flips almost as well as the X7, but not quite. Uh, you see a little more wobble in its recovery, but it does flip really well. Um, it's a great quadcopter. Uh, but I think that... Uh, the the quadcopter, it's a little lighter than it's a little lighter than the other uh, Nano QX clones. It seems like they made it a little smaller. Uh, this one does have nice LEDs on it. Uh, the LEDs can be they're ve very visible. Let's see if I can plug it in so you guys could look at the LEDs. The LEDs shine right through the body and all. Uh, it might be because it's the uh, green version, but the LEDs are visible. Uh, very visible from the top and bottom and uh it's it's up in about the same place as the cg022 so they are a little close together i didn't fly this uh very far away from me um in the dark uh because just because the conditions that i, I was in when i was flying this outdoors it was very windy and uh I, so i didn't get the test to see um how this looks 
when it gets a little far away, but I imagine it's the same exact problem with the CG023 uh, because the LEDs are so close together, when it gets far away, it's hard to uh, determine the orientation because of how close the LEDs are. But they're pretty bright, so I would call this a night flyer. You just can't fly this thing really far away. Um, so it's a nice outdoor flyer, but I think it's mainly uh, better as an indoor flyer. It shines in its indoor flight because outdoors, like things like wind, it really doesn't cope well with wind because it doesn't cope well with wind because the pitch isn't as uh, deep as the CG023. So uh, the CG023 actually has uh, two things over this quadcopter. The yaw is faster and the pitch is uh, deeper. So, but the pitch isn't bad on this one. Uh, it's just not as good as the CG023. And the yaw isn't bad either. The yaw is a nice yaw, but it's just not as fast as the CG023. So you can't do as tight a funnel as you would with the CG023, but this can do some nice funnels, but it's not tight enough to uh, spin around on one motor pod, uh, for example. The pitch isn't that deep to be able to do that, uh, but it's a pretty nice flyer. Um, the headless mode I found doesn't work very well. Uh, it works well in the beginning, but then uh, fairly quickly it starts to lose its bearing, so uh, it'll it'll um, start getting pretty loose, uh, the heading will, and I found that I start my heading this way, and uh, then after a while it seems like the heading will be this way, gradually, pretty fairly fast. Um, so I would say that the headless mode doesn't work well. The same with the uh, one key return. Because the one key return seems like it works off the same bearing as the headless mode. So the headless mode is loose and the one key return is loose as well. So it'll be thinking your head. After a while, it'll it'll think that your heading is over here. So when you hit the one key return button, say like your face this way, what one key return does is you hit the button and it'll try to turn its uh, back towards the uh, flyer and, and then fly it'll fly back to you. It doesn't fly fast. It'll fly nice and slow back to you. But the problem is when it loses its heading, it might be facing this way. And so it'll think that your the flyer is this way. It'll f fly back that way at an angle. So it won't actually be flying back to you. It'll just be flying backwards as the one key return does on this thing. <coughs> so uh, pretty nice flyer, though. I'm happy with it. I think it's a nice... Uh, Flyer, I think it's definitely better than the Esheen Skywalker. Um, oh yeah, but uh, another thing, uh, crashes I've noticed that if you crash on an angle when you're flying forward, it doesn't uh, protect the props as well. You'll hit the props, uh, damage the props and all. You probably can see I got little nicks on the props here. Uh, it does extend above the uh, props, so it does protect on the ceiling though. Um, the canopy barely reaches above the props and, uh, these reach a little above the props. And then the props also had these little, uh, round nubs on the top. So if it, they did touch the ceiling, it, it wouldn't stop them from spinning. Uh, but, you know, pretty nice flyer. It's a nice, uh, quad copter. The battery, this is the battery here. It's a 150 milliamp hour battery. The same battery that uh, fits in the Sima X2, and the X2 batteries will fit in here as well. But you can see that the, um, the, the battery connector on here, the cable was very short. Uh, so if you use want to use the X2's cables, or the uh, I mean the X2's battery, or the battery from any of the other uh, Nano Q QX clones, uh, keep in mind you're going to have that extra... Uh, battery wire in the back the extra length of it so this the stock battery comes pretty short and so you have less wire to uh, deal with so that's a plus with it transmitter is pretty nice the transmitter is the same transmitter as the uh, Baying Toys X7 except for it's red and white and they switch uh, there's no throttle trim on it now it just has that uh, flyback feature and uh, headless mode 
the flips uh, are executed by tapping, pushing this uh, button here, the right shoulder button, and the left shoulder button toggles your rates, and uh, it the buttons don't, the sticks don't press in or anything. You have your uh, trims here. This is your uh, left and right side, side flying trims. And you have your forward and back flying trims. And your yaw trim is here. Uh, pretty nice transmitter. I like it. But I haven't really tested the range because uh, I don't like to fly quadcopters really far away from me that don't fly well. <laughs> uh outdoors um, in wind and so it's been very windy so I haven't tested uh, the distance on this quadcopter um, I think that's all there really is to say about it oh yeah uh, I, I wanted to mention when you take the canopy off of this uh, I noticed that uh, let me take the battery out that these motors are soldered on so it's just like the CG023. The, uh, the motors are soldered on. The board is screwed down to the frame uh, because the Ishin Skywalker, the board wasn't screwed down. The board was just uh, mounted on with some mounting tape. And But the Ishin Skywalker did have plug-and-play motors. This thing doesn't have plug-and-play motors. So if you were thinking about uh, if you had to replace a motor, you would have to do some soldering. Uh so yeah, it comes with um, an extra set of spare props. It comes with a USB charging cable, and it uh, yeah, that's it. And the instructions manual it comes with. So yeah, let's check this thing out in flight. Okay, so this is the indoor flight demo of the new Beying Toys X9. We're going to bind it with the stock transmitter. It binds automatically. So let's see how this thing flies. So right off, you can see this thing is really quiet. We're in low rates now. Let's check the low rates. So you can see the yaw is very slow in low rates. Okay. So now we're in mid rates. So the yaw gets a little faster. Nice yaw for uh, one nice easy circuits indoors. And this is the pitch. Actually, let's go back to uh, low rate so we can see the pitch on it. So there yeah, the pitch on low rates and intermediate is just about the same, but the yaw is just slower. Back to, I'm trying to get back to low rate. Oh, here's low rate here. Okay, so you can see the pitch. <clears throat> the pitch is just a, a little less uh, as deep. And the yaw is really slow on low rates. So, this is mid rates here. We looked at the pitch on that and we looked at the yaw. It's a little faster. It's nice for uh, doing nice easy circuits. Now let's go in high rates. This is high rates here. So you get a, a pretty nice yaw on high rates. So you can actually pull off a funnel barely. So this is your high rates here. High rates. The yaw is pretty good on high rates. <coughs> And there you see you can do a little funnel with it. The throttle can be touchy sometimes, as you can see that, but it usually only happens near low battery. Uh, the throttle starts getting really super touchy. Let's check out the flips with it. So the flips are really fast with it. Just like the X7 still. <coughs> nice flips. So this thing is still awesome, <laughs> but let's check out the new features now. <clears throat> now I believe it was. Uh, let's see how the uh, headless work, uh, headless mode works. So now we're in headless mode.
So just as I thought, the headless mode works uh, facing the direction that you first plug it up in. So let's plug it up again. Let's unplug it really quick. Turn it off. We're going to face it away from us when we plug it in. <clears throat> okay, so we let it bind. Now we're going to go back to high rates and now we're going to try the headless mode. So now the headless mode is working as intended. I'm pushing away from me, it's flying away. I'm pulling back and it's coming back to me. Must be getting low on battery because the throttle is getting a little touchy. Okay, so let's try out this other feature. I'm gonna take it out of headless mode. So now it's out of headless mode, but let's try this one key return home feature. I'm gonna turn it sideways to let you guys see what happens. Now I hit it, it just turns around and starts to fly backwards. <clears throat> you can regain control of it, but if you turn away, it'll keep turning its back to you and flying backwards. It flies backwards slow, but it doesn't, it don't actually come right back to you. You have to press the button again to um, get out of the uh, one key return. It's not that smart, like... <clears throat> It doesn't know exactly where you are. It just remembers the heading from the headless mode and turns its back uh, to you. And then it just starts flying backwards. So as you can see, it was flying off to the side a little, but it was flying backwards in this direction. So let's try it again. Okay, I hit the one key return. See, it's not that accurate. Now it thinks I'm over that way. So, and the battery is dying too as well. <clears throat> so we're just gonna fly it around until it dies actually. You get a pretty nice LVC warning, but you can see the throttle gets really touchy. When the battery's dying. You get those uh, bursts of throttle out of nowhere. <clears throat> Even if you're uh, still on the stick, it actually does that. So that's it, the new X9 by Bain Toys with headless mode and one key return. Thanks for watching.